And um, when, when were you first aware of the story of Jack the Ripper? <laughs> really young, I was like about eight or nine or something. My mum told me about Jack the Ripper, the whole story, and I got really fascinated by it. And then I started reading books on it. And, um, and then when I was 15, I, I moved to East London and just so that I could be, because I really was in, like, intrigued me. And I, I sort of, when I first decided to move out of home, that was the first place that I, I thought I'd go. Yeah, but the bit, well, the strange thing about his story is I think he only murdered five, six people or something? Yeah, there was, um, no. well, there's a few that we're not sure. It's like so many theories, because there's just so many theories about it. But, um, there's but what, is, what do you believe then? I how many and who did it? Is it some sort of royal? royal? I don't know how many because okay. I don't know. But I do. I don't think it was a royalty. I think it was a doctor who. Um, what? Well, there's this. Little, there's one theory that it was a doc. They found this um, diary in a in a in a capsule like under the ground. You know, like people put stuff in and they keep it. And they found this diary of this man who was a doctor who's a. A, gyne a gynecologist um, for like women and stuff, and all the women that were murdered that we know of were on his books. And um, the story goes that his wife couldn't have children, and he was trying to find a way to, to like be able to operate on his wife to make her to have ch like be able to fix it and make her be able to have children, and that he maybe he was like taking out insides of women to try and. Mm -hmm experiment and they were all like sort of patients of his and so he knew them and uh, yeah they were like prostitutes so I guess in, in those days they didn't see them as like important people. So I don't know, it's, I, I'm not sure for it but that's one that I definitely sort of think maybe is the truth. Will you ever write a song about it? Probably not, no. There's been some songs already. Jack the Ripper <laughs> songs. No, I don't think so. But to be honest, like since I've been in this band, I've hardly uh, read any more theories because I can't read an old band because it makes me feel sick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I haven't actually read any latest ones. But I am definitely still interested in it. But I don't think I'll be writing any songs. I just, I just like it because you just don't know. It's obviously, it was an awful thing to happen, but it's, I'm just intrigued because you never found out who it was and it's just a mystery. I just but, like mysteries. But did you do, did you do the tour? Oh, the yeah, tour yeah, yeah. Well, because, see, when I moved to East London, I wanted to be a tour guide, and that was I my... It's, I think it's near the tower? Uh, yeah, it tower goes London? quite a few places. Yeah. It goes to the tower in London. It goes through, uh, like, Whitechapel and goes to this pub, which I also tried to get a job in, but I never managed to get a job as a tour guide or in the pub that he was supposedly meant to drink in. Okay. <laughs> but I used to drink there. <laughs> yeah, we, and w what's the feeling over there? Or was it just your imagination? Uh, maybe it's just my imagination. Okay. Uh, well, you were saying mysteries, yeah, you like mysteries. Um, mm. why, 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 how come, what, what? I don't know, I don't know. I also, I mean, I do like things that are kind of, gory and it, you don't want to think about it but it's happened and it's kind of I don't know I always kind of go for like I always like murder mysteries and I always like horror films and even in our band like we look nice but we play kind of heavier music and our lyrics are all a bit dark <laughs> so I don't know I don't know why that is it's just always something that's appealed to me and what is then the latest mystery that, that that has appealed to you? The, sorry? Uh, the latest mystery? Latest mystery. Um, oh, I don't know, actually. It's a hard one. Okay, or maybe maybe you, you saw something or read a book or... Yeah, there might just be like... Oh, well, there was one girl, like, just when people go missing on TV and stuff, I was kind what of... What are you thinking of the, 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 the Richard Edwards story of uh, Manic Street Preachers? Do you know? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The former guitar. Uh, yeah, I don't know, because I, I don't know anything about Manic Street Preachers, because yeah. I never liked them. But uh, yeah, I always wonder about him, but they say that he jumped off the river, something in Wales or something, didn't they? Um, Steve would know more about that because he liked the Manuscript Futures, but I, to be honest, that didn't ever appeal to me because I, I really can't stand the band. <laughs> well, then my last question, do you ever think, well, you, you have your sound, it's teen angst. Um, once you get older, 
Do you think you you will have enough in 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 inspiration to well, to to keep the same sort of music? Or? Well, it's teenage angst, but we're in our twenties. Yeah, so. so I'm pretty sure Steve's 26 and I'm 24. So I think we we still like the same music that we liked when we were 15, so, okay. and the same influences. So I think it might change. Obviously, you like. As a band, you're gonna change and grow and stuff. And uh, actually, I've gotten really into like Queens of the Stone Age and more rock sort mm -hmm. of bands. Stone or rock? Uh, yeah, like uh, yeah, just kind of really heavy sounding, like just real rock bands. I've really got into like yeah, Queens of the Stone Age is a really big influence on me now, which wasn't back then. But um, <coughs> yeah, that kind of sound is definitely. And this band called Hot Snakes, who were like um, who are re one of our really favourite bands, and. They're kind of got these really like just simple but hard hitting rock riffs, and uh, that's really inspired me at the moment. And I never really, it's less, it's more that now than it, it is Riot Girl, but um, still, all the influences will come around at some point. But we'll never just go, we're gonna write a song that sounds like this, it just comes out. Okay, thank you for your Thank time. you. Okay.